But you guys got another video, does an antivirus affect gaming performance? So we're going to take a look here and I'm going to test this with an antivirus turned on, antivirus turned off, and also we'll use game mode as well to see whether there's any impact on your performance or FPS drops and things like that. So I've got ESET running on this system. Now other antivirus programs may show different results to ESET, so bear that in mind, but we're going to go with ESET here. I'm going to start up Rise of the Tomb Raider here and we'll run a benchmark with Rise of the Tomb Raider because that is probably the most easiest way to get an accurate result across the board with all of these settings. So I'm going to go ahead and start Rise of the Tomb Raider up and we'll use the default settings here. As you can see, it doesn't really matter what settings they are, but we'll have uh, our antivirus ESET running on this system. And we're going to be testing on a brand new computer here. So this is a Ryzen 7700X with DDR5 RAM. And we've also got 32 gigabytes of RAM of an RTX 4070 Ti as well. Now, if you're running one of those old systems like an old Dell Optiplex or something along those lines, then I'm pretty sure that it will probably impact you more. Also, if you're running a hard drive with your Windows operating system on it, is probably going to also impact your performance even more than what you're going to probably see here. Because when I game with my antivirus turned on, I don't really see any sort of difference myself. But here is the results right here. I'll show you all of the results at the end of the video where we can put them all together and you'll be able to see. So that was with the antivirus running. I sort of skipped the benchmark and let that run through rather than bore you to tears with watching the whole benchmark. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause the uh, antivirus program, which is my ESA antivirus for one hour here. And basically, once we've done this, I'm going to turn off the ESA live guard as well, because that's obviously connecting out. I just want to make sure that nothing is running in the background with this antivirus. And you can see I've pretty much turned everything off here. So all we've got going on here is no antivirus program. If you're wondering about Windows Defender, uh, I have got Windows Defender still obviously on this system, but it does get disabled by ESET once you uh, are running uh, ESET on your computer or whether you're running another antivirus program. So let's quickly just show you that and check it just so you can see. I'm going to go into uh, privacy and security here and then go to Windows security and then open up Windows security here. And once we open this up, we can go in here and you can see ESET is controlling all of this. I don't even have a Windows Defender doing periodic scanning or anything like that. So it's not running in the background. It's completely shut off and we'll test it with the uh, antivirus now disabled. So let's go ahead and open up Rise of the Tomb Raider here again. And we're going to do exactly the same thing. We're not going to make any changes to the settings. We're just going to run a benchmark with the software again. And we will then get a end result and we will be able to see whether there's any difference between having your antivirus on and having it disabled completely on the system. So it's not quite the same as having, uh, you know, Windows Defender completely removed from the computer and having no antivirus. I understand that. But this is just a basic test just to give you some sort of idea of whether it does impact performance. I'm pretty sure it will impact some sort of performance somehow. And there's the results right there. I'll show you all these compared at the end of the video. We're going to do one more test here, and that is running game mode with our antivirus program because most antivirus programs will come with some sort of game mode feature, which will basically cut down system resources and things like that. So let's go ahead and set this up with ESET here. So I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to turn all of this stuff back on. As you can see, it was turned off. So it wasn't running in the background or anything like that. So let's go ahead and quickly enable these features. So we need to enable the protection. So let's open up ESET again, and I'm going to turn all of the features on, as you can see here. And there is a game mode setting here. And what we're going to do is we're going to toggle this on, and you'll see it will have like a yellow type of effect on that button there when we turn it on. So let's turn this on, and you can see what it's going to do is basically with this enabled, we will get performance optimizations for games and presentations. And if you look here, disables pop-up windows, updates, uh, scheduled tasks, and it also 
uh, decreases CPU usage. So let's go ahead and what we've got this done now is enabled and we'll go back into Tomb Raider here and we're going to run that benchmark again and we will get the results and we can then show you all of the free results together and discuss all of the benchmarks together and we'll see what the differences are side by side. Now we'll say that this test is for a modern day computer. I'm pretty sure this would be different for an old sort of potato PC like a Dell or HP or a Fujitsu or something like that. One of those old office based PCs that have got maybe a third generation Intel processor. And there's the results right there. And we'll go through this together and I'll quickly have a look here. But like I said, these results are going to be varied from PC to PC and antivirus to antivirus, depending on what you're using. But first off, let's have a look at the antivirus scores here. So here is all the results together. And we've got with the antivirus, disable antivirus and game mode all listed right there. And what's interesting is with the antivirus, you can see the scores are pretty much the same. Overall score is 159.24 compared to overall score with the disabled one is 161. Uh, 0.93 FPS and then down below we do have 162.71 FPS with game mode on so there's not much difference there and it's probably within margin of error but you can see where the difference is on the antivirus one which is the minimum score is pretty low with the antivirus it's 65.02 compared to and I'm talking about the mountain peak here 65.02 with the antivirus on and also with it disabled it's 80.79 so that's quite a big jump and then with game mode on it's 91.02 now the overall uh, main maximum score for those is 215 212 and 236 and then you can move down with the other ones and pause the screen and see the differences right there so with the antivirus there's a little bit of impact on the minimum scores on the lows but on the maximum overall score, there's not much of a difference. Now, I will say that when I'm using uh, this PC with the antivirus on and I'm playing games, I don't really see any sort of difference with it disabled or with it on or with it's in game mode. I just don't physically see any sort of difference when I'm doing any of these and I've tried it. It doesn't really affect my system. But if you've got an older system, I'm pretty sure there'll be a bit more of an impact on that computer. But as a modern day computer, it doesn't really sort of interfere with my gameplay. Yes, I will probably benefit by putting it into game mode a lot more, especially if you're playing some sort of competitive gaming where you're playing first person shooters, it probably will benefit you a lot more. Or if your PC is struggling a little bit, then maybe put it in game mode for better performance. I'm pretty sure it will. Uh, impact people differently with different uh, PCs. I'd be interested to know what other people's results are. So let me know those in the comments section below. And if you've got an older computer, run this simple test to see whether it does impact your computer. I'll be interested to see your results. But other than that, I think it will be beneficial to put it in game mode from today. And I will probably start using that feature a lot more because there does seem to be a bit more of performance when I'm putting it in game mode, even on this modern day computer. If you've got it available, you might as well use it, in my personal opinion. So anyway, I think that's going to be about it. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, whether this does impact your gameplay and whether you've had better results than what I'm getting here. I'll be interested to see your results. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll catch you on the Discord server. Bye for now.